Well, hey there. I wanted to do a quick review of the Law of Effect and the Skinner Box. Law of Effect is a very simple concept, but it's important. If I do a behavior, right, I take an action and it results in a positive consequence and that it continues to occur, then you should see an increase in that behavior. That is normally what will happen. If I do a behavior, let's say I come in and I draw a graph like this and a cookie falls from the ceiling and I get a cookie and every time I draw a graph, a cookie falls from the ceiling, you're gonna see a ton of graphs on this YouTube channel. Now, if I come in and I draw a graph and something bad happens, uh, a little electrical wire pops out behind the board and shocks me every time I draw a graph, the graphs will stop. I don't want shocked. So, graph plus sky cookie, yes, more. Graph plus electrical shock, no. Behavior will decrease. That is the law of effect, the outcome determining the frequency of the behavior. This can be tested in the Skinner box, okay? And the Skinner box does a lot more than that. It allows us, it is based on this theory, but it allows us to eliminate other factors and then to take our rat. So here's, let's put a rat in today. Could be a pigeon, could be a, you know, a cat, whatever. We've put a cat in a the box. There's my rat. That's a really good rat. You're welcome. And my rat has a lever. And every time he hits that lever, a little treat falls down. There are no other factors in the box. The rat will begin to hit the lever more frequently. And down the road, we can talk about schedules of reinforcement and how often we should reinforce the rat's behavior. That way it doesn't go extinct as soon as the rat realizes no more treats from the lever. So uh, that would be what we'd call a positive reinforcer. I am adding something that increases a behavior. A reinforcer always increases frequency of a behavior. This black line right here, that is a reinforcer. Reinforcer increases the likelihood of the behavior. Okay, I could also give the, my rat a negative reinforcer. Now that is not a punishment. Punishment decreases frequency of a behavior uh, or should. So my negative reinforcer my negative reinforcer would be if I took the idea of electricity again and I electrify the whole box. And if the rat hits the lever, the electricity stops. Rat says, I don't like getting electrocuted. I'll hit the lever. I'll hit the lever. I'll hit the lever. And every time the rat hits the lever, the electricity shuts off. I'm removing, so it's negative because I'm removing something that's causing the behavior to increase. So in this case, it's electricity running into the rat, which the rat doesn't like causing the behavior to increase. Positive reinforcer, negative reinforcer. This right here would be a punishment. I draw a graph, I get shocked, okay? Negative reinforcer, positive reinforcer, both increase behavior, punishment attempts to decrease it. Hope that's pretty clear for us.